very radical uh, in her own way for that time. Mm. And staying politi political right up until the end, um, I'm reading here that, that she did receive a standing ovation, again, for the classic Irish album, the award for classic yeah. Irish album that she received just this year. There was a standing ovation and she yeah. dedicated that award. The song was called I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got and she dedicated it to each and every member of Ireland's refugee community. Yeah, I think, you know, in recent times, because Sinead hadn't put out an album, a, a, you know, a, an album of new material in almost a decade. So, you know, I think that aspect of her as um, a uh, political activist and uh, someone who spoke out on important social issues actually came even more to the fore. And she kind of became venerated by a new generation for having had the courage to speak out on those subjects um, long before it ever really became fashionable or it was part of the mainstream, you know. So again, like you just cited there, um, speaking out on the subject of uh, immigration and uh, people coming into Ireland, which has been you know, a major talking point here um, over the past couple of years. Uh, you know, I think um, moments like that really endeared her to people and the fact that, you know, she always took a stand for the underdog, essentially. That was a big part of uh, what Sinead believed in. So, again, that all fed into um, what Irish people uh, loved and, and love about her. OK, let me, uh, let me just run through some of the the messages that people are putting up, mainly on Twitter, but across social media. Conor McGregor, the Irish mixed martial arts star, he said, the world has lost an artist with the voice of an angel. Ireland has lost an iconic voice and one of our absolute finest by a long shot. And I have lost a friend. Sinead's music will live on and continue to inspire. Rest in peace, Sinead. You are home with your son, I'm sure. And we've... Also heard from uh, the leader of the charlatans, Tim Burgess. He said Sinead was the true embodiment of a punk spirit. She didn't compromise, and that made her life more of a struggle, hoping that she has found peace. And finally, Hamza Youssef, the First Minister for Scotland, he has said sad news. Sinead, stroke Shahada, that was her um, Islamic name, was a unique musical talent who undoubtedly inspired many people to speak about their own mental health by being so open about her own struggles. Condolences to her family, friends, and all those who loved her. Paul, back to you. Just how open was she about her mental health struggles in the last couple of years? Oh. Uh